every job I've had with like a guy like that, it's always been them showing you pictures of like hookers that they've had. So you never know those guys. Van guys, yeah. I used to work with a guy named Alex. He barely spoke any English, and you know, he'd always talk about Heineken lights and banging hookers. They would show me like a photo that looked like it was taken like in the. Si- it's so blurry of like blurry tits. Who Mexicans love blurry tits on their Galaxy S <laughs> four. <laughs> We, I remember one time this guy Noel it was like 6am we were working in Trenton ripping up floors and this guy Noel Alex's ass crack was hanging out and this guy Noel dropped a wrench down into his ass crack <laughs> classic and then they kept calling him Mary Cohn and then <laughs> and Alex was like it was like a cartoon he's like ay 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 <laughs> I was like this is the best morning of my life and I was so pissed before that and I had the best day ever after that because the Mexican fellows, yeah, Mexicans they know really, how to have fun, man. Yeah, they really do. They, they, they know how to fu- have fun, and they're possibly the toughest people. True. Yeah, yeah I picked a, I let a guy in my car recently at a McDonald's up by Temple. Some guy was just like chilling, and he was trying to walk through the drive-through. And oh. he was like, "Yo, can you let me in? Because they're not gonna let me order if I walk through." And I was like, "Oldest trick in the book." I was like, "Will you buy my <laughs> McDonald's?" And he's like, "Yeah." And I was like, "All right." So I let him in, and he was cool. Thank God. I also have my boy Big Chrissy, who's big as big hell. Big as hell. Yeah, <laughs> so I wasn't too worried. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, so then I was, I was, but then I started getting nervous because the line was super long, so we were just chilling with this guy. He's talking about Kanye West, and we were like, Uh-oh. yeah, Kanye West rules. And he was like, what the fuck did he say? He's like, thanks for doing this, by the way. And I was like, yeah, but you better not play any funny shit because I have a gun. <laughs> and Big Chrissy looked at me. He was like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? And I was like, nah, I don't have a gun. But I might have a gun, so I wouldn't do anything crazy if I were you. Now, did he find that funny? Yeah, he was like, are you serious? He was, first he laughed. He was like, are you joking? I was like, I might be joking, but I might not, dude. So let's just get this McDonald's and we can go on our way. No funny business. <laughs> and he did. He, so he bought me a Big Chrissy delicious meals. Oh, man. And then we went back to Big Chrissy's and munched and we let him out. He was on so much coke. He just, nah, uh, that's cool. he was and he's hungry? Jesus Christ, yeah. man. He, well, he was Although, sn- he was sniffing it, so I figured he was on coke. There's some times, though, sniffles where... Sniffles and yapping his fucking head off. I think there's a lot of times where you're on coke, you might not be hungry, but you know that you need food. Yes, yes. I definitely know that. Yesterday, I, I needed food, and Lamar got a shakaroni. Actually, it was Pete. Pete got a shakaroni, which is a, a Papa John's pepperoni pizza, but they're shakaroni now because Papa John said the N word, so they made shak a part C. Man, yes. I was just going to oh. say, that sounds like a slur. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, uh, Shaq owns like half of Papa John's now because Papa John said the N word. <laughs> Whoa. So that was called the shakaroni. I mean, you crust. can't. And I couldn't eat You can't it. expect me to not start throwing shakaronis around <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>. It's delicioso. 